Good morning. The Onyx One DAPF program was composed from two arms, the global study and the clear study. The global study occurred in almost all over the world, while the clear study happened in the US and uh, in Japan. In total, we had 2,700 high-risk uh, patients, of which the patients in the global study were randomized between a drug-coated stent and a durable polymer DES. All patients were high-bleeding risk patients and were treated with one month of dual antiplatelet therapy. They were not only high in high risk for bleeding, but they were also uh, in high risk for ischemia as more than 50% of the patients had ACS. Uh, they had longer lesions, uh, presence of atrial fibrillation and B2C lesions. So in total, we had those 2,700 patients with high bleeding risk and ischemic risk. Uh, between two programs, as I said, we have 2,700 patients, which allows us to perform subgroup analysis, particularly in uh, subgroups with high ischemic risk as ACS patients. Indeed, from the global trial, we performed this pre-specified analysis comparing Resolute Onyx and BioFreedom in patients with ACS. As I said, half of the patients had acute coronary syndromes, so we have 504 patients in Resolute Onyx and 462 patients in BioFreedom arm that were treated for ACS and had uh, one month of dual antiplatelet therapy. As you could see here from the baseline procedure and uh, baseline characteristics, as well as procedure characteristics, there were no significant differences between the two arms, reflecting also the fact that this was a pre-specified analysis and following substratification for this group of patients. However, what we could see is that we have a higher device success, significantly higher device success for Resolute Onyx. Looking at the clinical outcomes, there were no significant differences between two arms regarding the primary and secondary endpoint. However, there is a clear numerical benefit in favor of Onyx. Uh, what is important is that one of the composites, uh, the ischemic composite of the primary and secondary endpoint, MI and target vessel MI, was significantly higher in the biofreedom arm. The importance of this finding is that as we look to the actual guidelines, they have a tailored approach for these patients uh, with based on ischemic and bleeding risk. And by reducing the ischemic risk, as we see here with Onyx, we favor the balance towards shorter dual uh, platelet antitherapy and safety of this therapy.